This is a uh, Milwaukee expander tool and it's used to uh, attach fittings to PEX A piping by expanding the tubing. The way it works is if you pull the trigger, this uh, N expands and rotates. So it constantly expands, rotates, expands, rotates. So that expands the plastic that allows the fitting to be inserted into the plastic. And that's for PEX-A piping and Ubernor type fittings. And here is an example of an Ubernor fitting. It has ears on it so when you slide the tubing in you slide it in to the point it comes in contact with those ears and that's how far you slide the tubing in. This is the PEX A plastic pipe and you can see that the fitting do not go in. <coughs> So the way this system works is that you have a plastic collar that slides that slides over the end of the tubing. And you put it on to such that it comes within a sixteenth of an inch to the end of the tubing. And that little collar has a little ridge on the inside that only allows you to slide it in so far. And then your tool, you insert it in, you pull the trigger, and these little expander pushes that whole tubing and collar apart. So you could slide the fitting in and then you hold it for not very long 30 seconds and then the way this works is this plastic once you expand it wants to go back to its original size so it starts shrinking down going back to its original size because the fitting is bigger than the plastic when you insert it this plastic cannot get back to its original size so it forever keeps squeezing down on this fitting trying to get back to the original size and maintains a very strong seal between the pipe and the fitting. So we'll get to work and we'll make some uh, pieces to uh, go into my plumbing system. So to cut the PEX piping, you just use a guillotine type of a cutter like this. I need about a four inch piece of pipe, which is going to take me right to there. The secret is you've got to, you want to get this as square as possible, this cut. So you line it up and just squeeze and it cuts off the pipe. So now the fitting goes on.
So I'm going to expand this end. So I'm going to expand this end and slide this fitting into the pipe. the fitting slides in to it touches the ears you just hold it in there for a little bit look at that it's already grabbing that's all there is to it this tool is not inexpensive and in my case, I already had the battery because I had the angle drill and a couple of other tools. So I just bought the drill itself as opposed to buying the kit. And then on top of that, I had to buy the fixture that goes on the end. And these fixtures come in different sizes. This particular one is for half inch PEX piping. And you buy that fixture and it just threads onto the outside. So you can have one for three quarter inch pipe and one inch pipe. I don't know how big this goes up to. Maybe an inch and a quarter, I'm not sure. But I'm using half inch uh, PEX A piping. And then again, uh, to operate, you just squeeze the trigger and it, ex and it expands and rotates that head. And there's the finished result. If you're building a van and you only have a few connections to make, this might be a lot of expense to get this tool to do a few connections in a van. So the other method is PEX B piping and crimp rings. And the crimp ring tool is quite a bit less expensive, maybe 40 to $80 type uh, for the crimper. And in that particular case, the fitting does slide into the tubing freely and the ring goes around the outside and you crimp the ring to squeeze the tubing to make the connection. So that's another alternative way of doing the piping. 